Hello, my name is Thomas Jennewein. I am an experimental physicist and an associate professor at the University of Waterloo in the Department of Physics and Astronomy, and I'm also a member of the Institute for Quantum Computing, or IQC. The IQC is a leading scientific research institute at the University of Waterloo in Ontario in Canada. It was founded in 2002 it is currently home to 32 faculty members, each of them with their research groups uh, of, of a total of around 300 students, researchers and staff. Um, and, and as I mentioned, research topics include quantum computing, quantum communication, sensing and quantum materials. I operate the Quantum Photonics Lab, which is a, an experimental uh, uh, laboratory where we work on experiments with photons, the particles of light. And we study their properties and, and look for ways how to use them for applications. And in, in particular, we look at quantum communication. Uh, I'm really proud to mention that I'm the, um, the initiator and scientific lead for the Canadian Quantum Encryption and Science Satellite Mission, in short, KeySat, which is, is a fully funded satellite mission by the Canadian Space Agency. This satellite mission aims to demonstrate and study quantum communication links between ground and space, and in particular with a focus on, on helping you know, build systems for the future internet, which is a, a network of quantum systems which will share quantum bits rather than the classical bits of today's internet. So quantum information uses so-called qubits or quantum bits which are the extension of classical bits to the quantum domain. The main difference is that these quantum signals can take uh, superposition states. Essentially, they can be in two different uh, configurations at the same time. And so, just some of the applications include um, uh, cyber and communication security uh, or, or uh, studies on physical chemistry. Uh, just to name a few of the highlights of, of what quantum technologies um, could offer. So one of the main uh, first uh, applications of these quantum links is uh, quantum key distribution, which I'd like to introduce now briefly. The quantum signals are prepared in, in quantum, these quantum superposition states, and you may have heard about the Schrodinger cat. So these quantum bits are you know, similar to quantum to, to the Schrodinger cats. The quantum superpositions then can, um, um, can be very sensitive. They are very fragile. And in fact, um, they are so fragile that even the slightest attempt by, by any adversary party, uh, an eavesdropper, usually called Eve, uh, who might attempt to measure or extract information of the quantum particles, uh, will inevitably disturb the state you can think of it this way. The box with the hypothetical Schrodinger cat um, was opened, and, and once it's opened by, by Eve, in this case, the, the state of the cat has, has um, converged into one particular state and, and, uh, because the state has become known, right? The beauty of quantum key distribution is that no additional computational um, assumptions are required uh, for the security and, uh, and which is the case though for, for many of the existing algorithms like uh, you know if you think of your web browser or online banking when you get a secure login or so, login to a secure website is protected by computational assumptions on the difficulty of, of undoing the algorithm. So I myself have uh, done my, my uh, studies at uh, Innsbruck University and, and ever since I got into this research field I have been truly fascinated by the potential of long-range transfer of quantum information. And in fact, uh, uh, about 20 years ago, while I was a master's student in Innsbruck, I was part of one of the first demonstrations of, of quantum key distributions uh, outside of the lab using entangled photon pairs. Um, and uh, indeed, we transferred um, these entangled photons over optical fibers, uh, which were installed at the Technic campus um, at, the, at the University of Innsbruck. And together with um, Gregor Weiss uh, in the team of Anton Seilinger, we actually distributed the, the photons over 360 meters in the end. At that time, there was a record. 
and encrypted um, an image of the Venus of Willendorf and were able to decrypt it on the other uh, side. Currently at my lab in Waterloo, we are working on implementing quantum communication systems for global distances and to build systems suitable for satellites. We're developing and testing new prototypes and protocols and uh, which will be you know, implemented and tested with KeySat. In my lab, we worked uh, over the past decade uh, to bring these technologies from the laboratory uh, setup to the outside, uh, to the field. And, and essentially enhance their technical readiness level or TRL. And um, I wanted to demonstrate uh, to the world with this, with this work that indeed those technologies can work um, and, and be ready to take, uh, you know, are ready to be taken serious. Uh, for, for instance, uh, we send signals from the rooftop of our, of our uh, lab building uh, to, uh, from a telescope to a nearby uh, located uh, and moving uh, pickup truck, as you can see in the video. And, the, and while the truck was driving or moving, we were able to catch the signals and, and demonstrate this key transfer um, uh, uh, in, 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 in this outdoor environment. So a couple of years later, in collaboration with the Canadian Space Agency, the National uh, Research Council of Canada and several industry partners, we enhanced our systems and prototypes and built a full-fledged um, uh, um, prototype system representative of a, of a satellite payload. And this included custom photon detection and tracking unit, uh, uh, all designed for uh, suitability to go into space onto a satellite. And in 2016, we were finally able to send our signals from a ground station to this particular payload installed on a Twin Otter aircraft. This was uh, the, fir the world's first demonstration of an uh, airborne quantum receiver in action and, and actually overall the second demonstration of, of airborne quantum communications. This was a, a really hard project, but it was very exciting to, to finally get the, the news of success and uh, to hear actually the aircraft crew tell us, uh, uh, you know, for the first time, we got photons. Listen to this. Uh, oh, research, zero seven. Go ahead. Receive photons. A year later, the, this key submission was announced by the Canadian government, and indeed in their federal budget of 2017, they announced uh, uh, funding for the, the mission. My group has also engaged in various outreach activities and we built a tabletop demonstration system that can be operated manually and even under um, lighted conditions. So no longer night, uh, uh, dark, dark of night is required. And uh, the fun part is that an observer can now truly follow the full protocol and interact with, with um, Alice and Bob while they perform the, the, the key exchange protocol. Together with my esteemed friend and colleague, uh, uh, Professor Gregor Weiss from the University of Innsbruck, we worked on new demonstrations of three photon entanglement using a direct generation of, of photon triplets by cascading two pair sources. We were able to show that indeed the quantum coherence is transferred to the three photons. Um, and one of Gregor's uh, students, Thomas Clouton, uh, in, in fact brought their measurement device and interferometer all the way from Innsbruck to Waterloo and uh, within about four weeks of, of hard work in the lab and measurements um, we were able to demonstrate the three photon entanglement. We undertook this uh, work primarily from a point of fundamental research and um, it was really rewarding and encouraging to receive the recognition by Physics World the website of the Institute of uh, Physics and where they identified this uh, work as one of the top 10 physics results of 2017. Ever since I entered the research field of quantum photonics, uh, which started as a master student in Innsbruck, I have been um, able to follow and, and participate in a remarkable and exciting uh, journey in this area. And this has taken me to many interesting places and, and to uh, meet and interact with many interesting people. 
and I do look forward to what what else is to come for quantum technologies and uh, be a part of that. Thank you very much.